my beautiful jams it's kabibi from kabibi la vie so in this video i'm showing you my diy moisturizer here are the products that i'll be using so i start off with an empty spray bottle and i like to use my everyday daily moisturizer as the base of my liquid moisturizer. When I'm doing my protective style and I'm wearing cornrows, I prefer to use a liquid moisturizer to make sure that I get my hair thoroughly moisturized in the cornrows. Now it's not an exact science in terms of how much I use of each product. Really, it just comes down to the consistency. I want something that's going to spray very easily from the spray bottle because if it's too thick, it's going to clog it up. If it's too watery, it's going to end up dripping down my neck. So it's kind of trial and error with figuring out the exact portions of each product to be able to get the consistency that you like. And I like to just add some jojoba oil, just a little bit. And then the one thing that I also add is I add some water. Water is the ultimate moisturizer and I'm just using some regular uh, purified water. And then I just add a few drops of the peppermint oil, partly for the scent and also because I like to have a little bit of a tingle to my scalp, but I don't want to use too much. Now I just shake it all up. Right now I'm just checking the consistency to see if it's too thick or see if it's too watery and then I'll just add more water if I need to. Okay, so now let me go ahead and get started. So I did my cornrows for my protective style uh, probably about a week ago. And I generally moisturize my hair in the mornings Typically, I do moisturize my hair in the morning. That way my hair has a chance to absorb all of the product throughout the day, and I'm not going to bed with like wet hair. So at this point, the moisturizer is a little bit too thick. I'm having some difficulty with getting it to spray out of the spray bottle. So I do take a break um, and add some more water to it just to get the consistency. And at this point, I've already added more water. So you can see it's easier for me to, to spray it in my hair down. Now, when it comes to moisturizing your hair under your wig or whatever protective style you're doing, it's really important that you moisturize at least every couple of days. For me, the test that I have is my braids need to feel juicy, like not wet that it's dripping down my neck, but not greasy where it just feels like a lot of oil on there, but it needs to feel moisturized and juicy is the best way that I can describe it. So I like to have really juicy braids. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment and hit subscribe. It would mean so much to me to be able to have you as uh, one of my subscribers. Okay, so I braid the nape of my neck separate from everything else. That way I don't have too much tension on the nape of my neck. So I just wanna make sure that I pick up the cornrows and also moisturize the braid that's on the nape of my neck. And then also, of course, get underneath the cornrows as well. So I bought this scalp massager years ago at Walmart for like $5. If I can find a link to it, I'll post a link below. If I don't find the link, then I'm sorry, but it's a battery operated moisturizer that feels so good and so relaxing. And it also helps to press the product into the cornrows. Mm -hmm. 
and that's it so that's the first step to how i moisturize watch out for my next video where i'll show you my diy scalp oil mix and also how i moisturize with the scalp oil mix as well so for me moisturizing my hair is a two-step process i use the liquid moisturizer i also use the creamy moisturizer like i'm doing right now to moisturize the leave out hair and then i follow it up with my scalp oil mix to seal everything in and also um just like treat my scalp as well all right so thanks for watching and i'll post the next video in a few days bye